Hey everybody, my name is Sean. Welcome to Zero Fidelity and today I'm really really excited to talk about three integrated amplifiers from a little known company out of Serbia called Dayans. So with that being said, let's get started. And here are the three integrated amplifiers. Now before I start talking about each piece individually, I first want to show off what they look like while stacked together. And some of you are going to actually notice that these two pieces look practically identical. And that's kind of because they are. In fact, it's the exact same unit, it's just one piece features a few internal upgrades, which I'll talk about later. But for now, what you see in front of you is going to be the regular Ampino, an upgraded Ampino, and the Minuetto, which, as you can kind of tell, is going to be a beefed up version of these two amplifiers. So with that said, let's talk about how these components perform on an individual level. Alright guys, so let's kick things off by looking at the Ampino Integrated Amplifier. So as of right now, the Ampino currently serves as the entry point into the Dayans lineup. It carries a retail of roughly 560 US dollars and is a fairly compact piece that outputs 25 watts per channel into 8 ohms or roughly 40 into 4 ohms. So when I say compact, let me illustrate what I'm talking about here. Here's a CD that practically obscures the entire front chassis. So this is a pretty small integrated. Now if we move it to the side, You'll see there's a bit of length to it, but it still illustrates my point that this is a pretty small piece. Now, the Ampino actually has a really cool history behind it. In fact, you could say that this is where Dan's kind of began, is the owner of the company actually built this amplifier for his son when his son went off to college. And it ended up being such a hit that he and his son decided to go into business. And not too long afterwards, this thing was actually winning awards all around the industry. In fact... A number of years ago, it won the coveted Six Moons Realization Award. It won the Best Value Award from Stereo Mojo, and just a lot of people in the press were talking about how awesome this piece was for the money. The only problem is that it didn't really do anything for Dance because at the time, they didn't really factor in the cost of shipping when pricing their units. So what happened is people would be like, oh man, I want to try that out. And then when they reached out, they were told how much it would cost to ship it to their home, and that pretty much killed the deal. The good news is nowadays the pricing includes shipping, or at least that's the case if you have a distributor within your country. So with that being said, let's talk about how the Ampino actually sounds. And in short, this is really a super impressive piece. It's easy to understand why it received so much praise and why it received awards. This is the kind of component that you plug into the system, you know, maybe with low expectations and you just go, holy crap. <laughs> Um, and the reason being is despite this unit's uh, ambiguous looks and small size, it has this huge, rich, just super organic sound. It almost sounds like a tube amp. And you just don't expect that from a component at this price point and from this size. Usually affordable solid stake gear sounds like, well, affordable solid stake gear. But this component actually sounds super rich very organic as I said before it has a huge sound stage it's incredibly incredibly detailed or to amend that statement it pushes detailed out in a kind of forward manner so despite being warm and organic sounding it has this kind of forward gripping presentation that's really difficult not to like now there are some downsides to it the biggest downside is the fact that in my opinion the top end is a little bit rough it's a little bit coarse um, some people aren't going to have a problem with that. To me, it's not a deal breaker, but after a while, you will notice it. And here's going to be the upgraded Ampino. Now, this is kind of an interesting option from Dayans and their distributors because it doesn't really come at much of a premium charge. The regular Ampino is 560 bucks, and the upgraded Ampino goes for roughly 672 So I have the chassis off because I want to show you what you get for that extra $110. And in a nutshell, you get some upgraded parts. So right here, there's going to be some Mondorf capacitors on the amplification section, and then we have some Mondorfs on the input section as well. Another big change is going to be the Blue Velvet Alps volume control. Now, to illustrate the difference in the volume control, let me take the other Ampino here. Ah, there we go. And the difference is going to be not just in sound quality, but just in how it feels to the touch. For example, with the regular Ampino, I don't have to put much effort into moving the volume control. It doesn't feel bad, but you know, it just feels 
like an affordable piece. Whereas this piece right here has a very smooth, very solid feel to it. And it kind of makes the regular Ampino feel almost flimsy by contrast. So the big question is, are these upgrades worth it? And that's a difficult question to answer because I think it all depends on what you're looking for. If you're somebody who wants that big, organic, super colored sound, you'll probably actually like the regular Ampino. But if you want something that's more honest, if you want to, like for example, I, earlier I mentioned one of my complaints, which is rough sounding top end. This unit largely takes care of that. It smoothens it out. It refines the entire presentation. The mid range cleans up a little. The bass cleans up a little. Uh, it's just an improvement in every single way. But you do kind of lose that organic quality in the process. So ultimately, if you're somebody who wants to hear more of a difference between your recordings, I'd say, yeah, absolutely. This is well worth the difference. I mean, 110 bucks. I mean, it's just actually a pretty good deal. And it does a great job of filling the gap between the regular Ampino and the Minuetto, which is what we're going to talk about next. Lastly, we have the Minuetto integrated amplifier. Now, some of you can already tell the Minuetto is quite a bit larger than the Ampino, and unsurprisingly, it can output a lot more power. So the Minuetto will put out 50 watts into 8 ohms, and roughly 70 watts into 4. Now, like pretty much all of the Danes products, this is a purest piece. You don't really buy it because you want to get the most features for the money. You buy it because you want the best sound you can possibly get for your dollar. And... I think Dan's knocked it out the park with the Minuetto. And the reason I say that's because while the Ampino has this wonderfully warm and organic sound, while the upgraded version of the Ampino refines that presentation, the Minuetto is almost altogether different. It's not very warm. It's not super organic. Instead, it's very clean, very clear, very articulate, and a lot truer to the source material which is what Dan's is really going for as you ascend up their line. And I think this component does a better job of matching a wide variety of speakers than many others do at a thousand bucks. So to illustrate my point, in the time that I've had this piece, I've connected it to b and I've connected it to Klipsch, to Wilson Audio, to Rosso Fiorentino, to Dolly, to Harbeth, and it's matched every single one of them. And that's because it's a very balanced sound. It has a very open and articulate mid-range. It has a very tight and controlled bottom end and has a very smooth and almost liquid and sweet sounding top end. That's just, it makes for a really enjoyable listen. In fact, it's so enjoyable, I can't really, at least for the money, pick it apart. The only real downsides about this piece have nothing to do with the amp at all, and the fact that it's just really tough to audition this before you buy it. So, if you do buy it, you're going to want to make sure you have a decent distributor who can support you in case anything happens. But by and large, these things are made very well, so I doubt anything's going to happen uh, in terms of internal failures. So, with that said, guys, I really like the Minuetto. It's a very easy recommendation. That said, it's time to summarize my thoughts on all of the Danes gear. And there you have it, guys. This is going to be my take on the Danes integrated amplifiers. Overall, I think there's a fantastic components. The regular Ampino has a super warm and organic sound that I think will impress a lot of people at its particular price point. The upgraded Ampino for just $110 more makes a lot of sense for somebody who's looking for a bit more refinement. And the Minuetto for $1,000. I gotta say, anybody who's looking to spend $1,000 on a purest integrated amplifier should seriously, seriously consider the Minuetto. It really is a great performer for the money. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.